Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to do an I-cord using your Gallery London at Sloom. Now, an I-cord is just a good embellishment if you're doing something like a small animal with arms or whiskers or you can actually do the I-cords and sew them into circles, which I'll show you all that. Okay, so for your I-cord, it's that figure eight stitch again, because we're just going to use two pegs. Take your working yarn down through the middle, and you can do this on any pegs you want. It really doesn't matter. Let me zoom in. Okay. Now all we are doing, put your yarn down inside. You're going to do a figure eight stitch. And you're going to repeat it to where you have two loops on both pegs. At this point, I'm holding both strands. I'm holding my thumb back here to hold this one in place, and I'm holding that one in place. So you take your bottom loops over your top ones and just push it down. And you just keep repeating that. See that loop right there? All I gotta do is just pull that and it's gone. And that's basically all there is to doing an I cord. Which I'm gonna go ahead and make this one a little longer and then I will show you how to uh, get it off the loom and show you a couple things that you can do using I cords. All right, when you get the I cord however long you want it. All right, I just had scissors. These work. You don't need a super long string. You just cut your string and you take one side, put it on the other side, take the bottom over the top, and then just pull your cord through that single loop left. You can tighten it and that'll automatically lock itself in and your other end's locked in. Now this was just using two pegs. I mean you can use three. If you use three do kind of like an E-wrap method instead of the figure eight. Um, but see it's kind of like squared. A couple things you can do with I cords. I cords, uh, I've got a spider pattern where I used I cords for the spider's legs. I have little pumpkins where I just did little tiny I cords for the stem if you do here's an ear flap hat for ear flap hats you can do the i cords um at the end of the hats at the end of the flaps so you can tie them on the head or something a little different you can do it to do designs and projects if you do a bag, you can take I cord and sew, you'd sew it on with needle and thread when you're done, but you can do it to give a finished edge to it. Or like with the little cat paws, this is going to be one of those hooded scarves, so this is just where your hand goes in. You can take, and all you do is you want to use a needle and thread, and I take either a collar, I take a collar as close to this as I can just so it doesn't show. And then I just run it all the way through everything. Twist a little bit, run it all the way through, run it all the way through. And I just do that until it gets to the size I want. And then so I don't have a big knot like that, I kind of tuck it under as it's all sewn. And then you've got these little button shapes. You can do whatever you want. You can make eyes with them. Just anything. And then I just take and just get some thread and sew it onto my project. It's kind of hard to see, but I just used white so that it would all match. All right, that's all there is to doing an eye cord. Thank you so much for watching. Any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe.